Welcome back to Sporting Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And this is another sample that was shared with us. This is the Bib and Tucker Ooh. six year bourbon. If you did not <laughs> notice, Eric had a bad experience with a Bib and Tucker whiskey at some point before. I think this is a pretty yeah. solid whiskey. So I think they've done some upgrading of what they've released over the years. Let's hope so. So, so I don't think it's going to be nearly as bad as you think. They source. Mm -hmm. So that's part one. We think, or the rumor is, it's Dickel. Okay. Okay. And I like Dickel. Two, that's it. We know nothing else. We know it's a bourbon, so we know it's at least 51% corn. That's about all we know. Okay. <laughs> we don't know anything else. We don't, uh, and it does say that it's a six year. Um, the label does say that it's a six year bourbon. That's about all we have in, in knowledge wise. Uh, this sample uh, was shared with me by my brother, Tari. So thanks, Tari. <laughs> God, I wish shot. I still had that bottle. My brother bought that bottle when he was down visiting. He was super excited. He liked the look of the bottle. It's a cool looking bottle. Comes to the, the house. Brown with all the... We both had a pour. I mean, it looked like an old medicine bottle. Canteen, yeah, okay. canteen is shape, but the, that brown just looked like a medicine The brown bottle. Is, is... And we both took a pour. No bueno? No bueno. And I made him take it home. Now I kind of wish I still had it so I could do an A and a B. Comparison? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's pretty close. Here, let's go one. A little mm -hmm. extra because yeah. I know how much you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Handshake bottles. So uh, I got to steal this from New Jersey and bring this back down to Tennessee uh, because the handshake bottles, if you go down in our description, we have a link to an affiliate uh, glass bottle outlet that you can get handshake bottles for a pretty good price. All right, the nose already smells better. See, I'm telling you, it's not nearly as bad as the face that you made when I said that Dude, I had that's some just, That's talker. just one bottle that I just completely just walked past in a liquor store. And I always give it to as yeah, I walk well, by. There are, this is batch 23. You know, I think they're on like 24 or 25 now, but they, well, maybe I had batched like one or two because it was terrible. Well, that's, that has happened in some of the other ones we've had. Smell a little bit of ethanol proof. There's a little bit on the nose for 92 proof. That seems a little funny, but I get a little... I get the corn. Yeah, that dusty corn note. That, that, the, the dickle. The, the dickle, dickle dusty corn note. <laughs> it's not that real minerally that you sometimes get from some of the dickle. I don't get that mineral note. Just the kind of the dusty corn note. It's better. It reminds me, it's got a little bit more of that frontier note. Um, like, uh, why can't I think of it? You know what I'm going for. What's the frontier bourbon? Uh, there's a strain of hands. No, there's, no. Um, High bullet. West? No. Bullet uh, is that this frontier. This is too sweet. This is very sweet this compared too to Bullet. sweet. Bullet's got way more of a bite. All right, fine. It's not Bullet. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is sweet. It, 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 this is way better. I must add batch one or two. Because that was <laughs> terrible. It was terrible. When you kept poo pooing it, I was just like, huh. You, uh, this made me and kind I sampled of it and I was just like, this is not. This is not bad. And if it is Dickel, that's pretty good Dickel. It's, it is slightly reminiscent Again, I just, of the Dickel I cannot, bourbon. And we've the sampled a number of things that are supposedly sourced from there. And actually physically walking or doing the distillery tour, it's just not big enough. They've got to have a satellite location somewhere because it it's not a very big operation. That's got a lot of weird sweet notes in it. Where, where's Bib and Tucker out of? Are they a Tennessee? I don't know if they disclose that. I'm sorry. I'm going to find out. Keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know if they disclose that. I know they disclose that it's sourced out of Tennessee. I don't know if they're out of Tennessee. 92 proof. Pretty solid. Oh, see, this is sweet. Oh, it's got a different label. That was like the old bottle. Now they got a black label. Hmm. Uh, they're doing... They keep changing things. There's no question about that. They've changed the labels a couple times. They've changed how dark brown... So it is a brown bottle with a lot of like intricate knot work on it or like 
raised stuff, mm -hmm. fines, maybe, fines, sure. But there's, and it's a little bit of a flask look to it. Reminds me of a canteen. Yeah, okay. But that's, that's what it is now, with the black label. Yeah, I, just, I want to find out where they're out of. Because, again, if it's, are they here? I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I know that's sourced out of no, Tennessee. No, it's out of Connecticut. They're based in Connecticut. Okay. The Deutsch Family Wine and Spirits, Stamford, Connecticut. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, it's got to be somewhere around here. And it's not. But it's not. It's way the hell away from here. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a... Uh, I can say that on this. The channel, wheel horse. Can you can say that. <laughs> that's fine. Just don't go beyond how. <laughs> then I have to mark it explicit, and it, it becomes a whole different thing. But like the wheel horse. Yeah. So wheel horse is uh, distilled in Owensboro, Kentucky. In Rhode Island. Bottled it's in. bottled in, in Rhode, Rhode Island, Island by a company that's in Newton, Massachusetts. That's where they're headquartered. I, I don't. I don't get that one. I'm a little. But we also don't understand why Dickel sends their stuff on unmarked gas tanker trucks to Illinois to bottle. That's true too. You would think there'd be a bottling line someplace in Tennessee that they between could Dickel and Jack Daniels and their twenty-ish miles apart. Yeah, you would think someone would do outsource it to Jack plant, Daniels. Yeah. Put a bottling plant somewhere's in the middle, and then accidentally mix. Th Woo! I don't know if that'd be good or bad. <laughs> It'd be better, would be my guess. Anyway. <laughs> Which one would be better? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm not going to answer that question. One, not nearly as bad as you recall. Two, 92 proof, six-year-old bourbon, 50 bucks. Yeah, it's maybe on the higher end of what I would spend for that. $40 probably feels I've a little bit better. I've seen it more than that. I've seen it closer to 60 Ooh, yes, you know. It's not worth that. Man, the more you go back to the nose, the more it smells more, like more and more like Dickel. Like that little Which bit of Which is fine. I'm, I'm like a, like a, the dry dust. I past like the, the, the original Dickel and got into like the, the bottle of bond. Yep. Especially the bourbon. Whew. Yeah, that bourbon's really nice. And for the price for both of those. And right. Uncle Nearest is down there, supposedly Ooh. is source from them? Mm -mm. It's not? Uncle Nearest is their own juice now. No, now, but. I don't know where, when they started. I'm not sure if they're. No. They're down there. They're down there. So that's another one. There should be a bottling company down there. There really should be. Like, how do you not put that? We need to start a business. I'm going to start a bottling business? <laughs> that got sweeter. Yeah. The ethanol note kind of went away on the nose. Even if you go from top down. It's not as strong. Got sweeter, a little bit of a coconut, like a chocolate note, just a touch of one. Again, that goes back to that. I get a little bit of that dickle, peanutty, fung, like just dustiness. Dusty, dusty, dry peanut. Yeah, dry peanut, dry corn, uh, the dustiness. The water changes a little bit. It's not drastic. Wow, that just made it. That muted it everything muted down. Muted it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. All right. Didn't good. change much. Glad, glad we're in the same ballpark here. It <laughs> muted everything down. There's not as much complexity. There's not. It's still sweet. There's still maybe a touch of a rye note in there, a little spice of some sort. It's not much beyond that. Whew. Yeah. That first bottle goes back to like. <laughs> I was oh, going to say. What are you? What are you thinking? few bottles of those we've had that, but at least they learned and changed uh, from yeah. batch to batch there's other people yeah. that have not changed and and their whiskey is just as bad as it was the with the first barreling yep bottling both that's solid that's I, it's fine mm -hmm. it's not it, it wouldn't be something i'd go out and buy just because i mean it's fine it's a fine whiskey but for the price and knowing that it's just probably source dickel Rather get a bottle of Bond Dickel for thirty bucks, than or the bourbon for thirty. Or the bourbon for thirty, 30 plus bucks. Thirty-eight. And that's an what eight-year-old bourbon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'd probably go that route versus this. Absolutely nothing wrong with this. I'll have to say, this is way better than my first experience, and I haven't had it since then. Well, that's a, again, you kept saying, I was like, dude, it's it's not that bad. <laughs> 
It's not the best whiskey I've ever tasted, but it's not nearly as bad as you were saying it was. But mm-hmm. they've le- learned mm-hmm. and grown and changed and improved. That's all you can Which do I'm in life, right? I'm curious to see what they tweaked. What they changed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, not sure. It's been quite a few years since I had it. Right, at first. And it was just... A little sample. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Oh, well, there you go. Well, Tari, thank you very yep. much. Look forward to stealing whiskey the next time I'm up to do a journey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I appreciate you enlightening me on the uh, Bib no, and this, Tucker. Yeah, there you go. Because I wouldn't have not touched it again. Yeah. Well, not, no, that's not true. I probably would have had it again. <laughs> it wouldn't have been my but first choice. Yeah, it would have been, yeah, been the first choice. <laughs> not my first choice or my second or third, probably. But yeah. It's not much nearly as bad as what you were thinking. And knowing that it's so. more than likely sourced from Dickel, yeah. um, I enjoy Dickel. Maybe not the best value. Solid whiskey. Mm-hmm. So, anyway. we'll see. All right, well, I'm glad we did this one. Yeah. I saw it on the lineup, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> That's why I was excited to put it all there, actually. <laughs> well, hope our review is entertaining for all of you out there. Uh, love to hear your thoughts on this one. If you... N- don't like it like I don't, or I didn't. Now I'm coming around. Be interested to hear that. But no, we hope you liked the review. The review. If you did, we encourage you to give us that thumbs up, like the video. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified every time we put out a new episode. Uh, thank you to my brother for the sample. And again, if you're looking for handshakes so you can start sharing some whiskey, go down into the description for the affiliate. And uh, let us know if you had the same experience with another whiskey where the first time you had it, it was horrible, mm-hmm. but you came back to it and really not that bad. We'd love to hear from you. Yep, absolutely. Well, thanks for joining. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.